The M3 submachine gun, referred to the game as the Grease Gun, is the first unlocked submachine gun with high damage and slow fire rate. It will kill within 3 shots up close, but then quickly drops up to 4 at medium range. Beyond this, you'll need 5 shots. Recoil is moderate but surprisingly controllable even at medium range. Fire rate is slow, which demands a degree of precision to make all the shots count. Firing from the hip isn't the best practice with this weapon, but can still be effective within a very close encounters thanks to the tighter hip spread of the submachine gun class. The class recommendation will focus on run and gun tactics. For the division, choose the airborne division for an ability to use the suppressor at any time. Be mindful that the grease gun is the gun that has a least benefit from the suppressor, as your range will drop much sooner than the default with 4-5 to five shots to kill even at closer ranges, and the slow fire rate means that it is far less consistent compared to the faster firing SMGs like the PPSH and the M1928. Both are better suited with the suppressor. Nonetheless, it is recommended to use the suppressor in a situation where you find yourself behind the enemy's territory and spawn. As a stealth benefit, it is more important for you not to alert your location while eliminating others. In most cases, you should be tackling head-on with the grease gun at closer ranges, and its high damage is a strength that should be preserved. Other abilities of the airborne division are faster movement speed, longer sprint time, and climbing obstacle faster, making you remain mobile. For the basic training, use Primed for the third attachment slot and will also reduce the flinch against an incoming fire, ensuring that you stay on target. For the attachments, select Quick Draw, Grip, and Advanced Rifling. Quick Draw will allow you to aim faster, as firing from the hip isn't consistent due to the slow fire rate. And the faster aiming speed will make differences in close range combats where every second counts. The grip will reduce the recoil, making the grease gun more accurate at longer distance, and the advanced rifling increases its range. These attachments will improve the grease gun's ability to compete at medium ranges while moving fast. For the pistol, elect whichever that suits you best. The Mauser M712 machine pistol is a good complement to the grease guns with a faster fire rate for a quick takedown at close range when your grease gun is not ready or out of ammunition. For the equipment, choose either the sticky grenade or a tactical grenade of your choice. The grease gun's high damage at close range relies heavily on an aim accuracy rather than a spray and pray tactic, as it has a slow fire rate. Keeping your size up is recommended with this weapon and you should do it really often when moving close to the next target. Stay in close range areas like rooms or tight structures for a good coverage of a 3-4 shot kill. Move in and move out quickly. Coming out in the open to engage long range enemies will mean that you'll be likely to be outgunned by ranged weapons like the STG-44 and LMGs. But this doesn't mean that you should be strict and stay within a room for the whole game. Don't be afraid to engage anyone at medium range, its controllable recoil paired with the grip can be effective, especially if you're firing while moving side to side to confuse a slower and unprepared enemy. Your airborne division is designed to move quick and fast, both for offense and defense. Overall, the grease gun is a fine submachine gun to use right at the start. Its high damage and controllable recoil makes it a good candidate for an aggressive head-on close to medium range engagements. However, the slow fire rate demands a good short placement, or your time to kill speed advantage will be lost if missing too many. Also, other submachine guns are more favorable due to higher fire rate, but no submachine gun can kill within 3 shots to the body like the grease gun, so it can be a challenging weapon to use but with a recommended class which focuses on accuracy, range, and staying on target. The grease gun's performance is improved, and all you need to do is keeping your sights up and run and gun from one enemy to another. And that's all for Call of Duty World War II Weapon Guide Express, the grease gun. For the next video is the Lewis Light Machine Gun. This is Asian with Jeep, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.